One effect of the pandemic is a lot of boarded up storefronts in the Bay Area as businesses have been forced to close. But one group is working with local artists to paint murals on the boarded up stores. Joining us now is co-founder of Paint the Void, Shannon Riley, artist Max Ehrman and photographer Lisa Vortman. Guys, thanks so much for joining us. You guys are doing so much to put smiles on people's faces, uh, especially during such a tough time. Tell me about how this project came to be. Thank you for having us. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I am a co-founder and owner of a company called Building 180 that focuses on placing public artwork and also doing interior design. And really the nature of what we do is wanting to beautify everything that we come in contact with. Um, so when everything started shutting down and um, as a reaction to COVID, a couple of friends had reached out. Um, There's actually an article in Mission Local that was apocalypse chic. And we started seeing boards going up and tons of the neighborhoods and it was really just depressing and really sad so friends reached out and asked if we knew any artists and friends that could help either board up some of the shops and place murals on the on the shops and we just started reaching out to friends max actually was one of the first that we reached out to and we wanted to see if they could get involved and see if we could give back and help small businesses in need and try to beautify our cities so max yeah we reached out to you and why did you say yes, I guess? <laughs> um, it's very, it's, um, for me, it's very personal as well. The neighborhood we started in is Hayes Valley, off Hayes and Golf. And I actually live in that neighborhood. So to walk through the urban context every day and see what was once a very um, active and energetic community to be boarded up, you know, I wanted to give back. And I wanted to, if art can do that, it's going to be a bridge between what's happening right now as a positive, and I was happy to be able to be, be a part of it and uh, be able to lend my energy and time and, you know, just kind of beautify this urban landscape that we're seeing right now and make it uh, into something that's a little bit of a happier feeling. And that's the problem. A lot of these stores shutting down, it's losing the city and the various neighborhoods are losing their vibrancy in these murals with the colors and just, I mean, these are beautiful pieces of art. They're just kind of bringing back some of that vibrancy that unfortunately is not there because of the pandemic. Yeah, which is, um, you know, for me personally, like I said, living in the neighborhood, it was something amazing to be able to walk down the street that I used to. Actually, one of the restaurants I painted was the last place I ate, ate dinner at. So it brought it full circle and I was just happy to be able to contribute in any way that I could. And also get other artists involved and move over to other parts of the city. And really just we're hoping to change the landscape into a, a gallery uh, that, the, that people can enjoy on their daily walk. Now, how do you, I'm sorry, go ahead. Go ahead, sorry no, about just that. Being in a really a, an incredible community outreach. We've been fundraising so that we can pay the artists, you know, very small stipends. Um, and so most everyone is donating their time and energy to do this. We've had over 400 people donate. So it's money raised by the community, given back to artists of the community. Like Max said, he's local to the areas that he's been painting. Um, and we're trying to pop this up everywhere in San Francisco and the Bay Area. Um, and we've even started helping consult some other people in LA and New York who are trying to do similar efforts. Um, and you know, it's just a response to obviously a really rough and hard time and to bring any color into somebody's day, I think is really our main mission. And hopefully to Max's point, we can continue doing this for a long time. Art is really empowering for a lot of different people in different ways. Now these pieces are relatively large uh, uh, paintings. These are large murals. How long does, let's say, a typical, and I mean, I, I don't know what typical would be, but how large <laughs> would the average, I guess, painting that you've done, Max, or any of the artists that have done thus far, where does the, how long does it take around, like a rough estimate? Well, it depends on the scale. These boards that we're typically painting are usually about eight to 10 feet tall by about 20 feet long. If you use a spray paint, it's a very fast medium. On average, two to three days for a spray paint, but a brush artist will take a little bit longer. Um, it just depends on medium and the scale. On average, we're looking at three days to turn these murals around, um, which spray paint can be a little bit faster. And then Lisa, you go around and you take photos of the artwork and the artists themselves, is that right? That's correct. Yeah, I, I uh, have worked with Shannon in the past and with artists um, that are connected with Shannon in the past. And so immediately when I saw her start this initiative, I jumped on it because one, I needed a project. I, I was having a difficult time not creating and not shooting and I'm a people person. So the second um, she accepted my, my offer to get involved, I hit the streets and I've been 
pretty much chasing down artists, which is not an easy thing to do. <laughs> and I never realized it until now, and I'm one of those artists, but they're, they're on their own time clock. They got to get materials. And to be honest, most of them have shared how difficult it's been to get materials right now. They're waiting in lines. They're trying to get the right right colors and in general it's just been a it's been a, a challenge but um they still show up smiling and they and they kind of again i'm chasing them down but touring around the city and being able to see the different neighborhoods and then being able to witness you walk her by it's just pause and and it's from kids to the elderly to couples to just individuals who like they, it just brings them a moment of like pause and joy as opposed to a little bit of this eerie feeling of emptiness that we're seeing right now in the city lisa you say and, when you say you chase these artists in my mind i picture you holding a camera <laughs> running down the street explain to our viewers what you mean by chasing how are you finding these artists so Shannon has been incredible at keeping um, keeping a pretty updated Google Doc on where people are, what restaurants. And so essentially I map out in the beginning of my day when I know I'm heading out, I map out where I know artists will be. I try to find out when they're active. Um, I try to text directly or direct message on Instagram. And then in general, I just know what businesses have agreed to, to allow us to do this. So then I'll just hop in my car. I do, I have my camera. It's pretty much in my lap and I'm just mask on going from spot to spot. And I, I spend a couple hours just driving around. Sometimes I run into people. Sometimes I show up and I just capture the, the scene with or without the artists. But whenever I run into the artists, it's my favorite. Oh, these shots are, I mean, they're just absolutely beautiful. Now, these, these uh, murals are obviously on, on businesses. Do you have to get approval before you start working on a mural on a business? Or, I mean, I'd assume that the businesses wouldn't necessarily have a problem, but do you still have to get approval from the business owners? Yeah, we, we want to keep everybody happy and make sure that we're doing this in the most proper form possible. So we have an application for artists to sign up and for businesses. Um, we've done a lot of personal outreach and quote unquote prospecting into any businesses that we've seen have boards up. Um, and on top of that, we also really want this to be a gift to the neighborhood and to the business. So we ask them like what aesthetic they want. Um, do they want something that represents their business? Is there any sort of messaging that they would like the artist to include? Um, and most businesses have been quite amazing and they've let the artists do whatever they want freely. And the artists have been incredibly giving and really trying to offer um, the community and the businesses what they've asked for. So we've seen a range of incredible artwork. Um, like Max was saying, some are graffiti artists, some are line painters, some are writers. Um, and I think to really see different forms and styles of the local artists that surround us in our city is just such an incredible, you know, beautiful moment in time in that aspect that we can see so much art out there. Um, yeah. I mean, it really is. It's just my, my jaw's on the floor right now because these are such beautiful pieces. Like, so that when I sit there and I color in my coloring book, I can barely stay in the lines. These are unbelievable, just pieces of artwork. How many pieces have been done? When did, the, when did this start and how many have been done so far? We started, um, I, I started conversations, I don't know, I think Max, you were one of the first artists I reached out to maybe four weeks ago is when he started conversations, but we didn't really start until a couple of weeks ago. Um, and we really started fundraising only two and a half weeks ago. So um, we have 32 murals up now. We've signed on 40 artists. And our goal originally was to do 15, which we've obviously far exceeded in two weeks' time. Now we're trying to get 5050. Um, yeah, and Max has done a bunch for us, and he's been a huge advocate in connecting us with artists as well. So, yeah, Max, when did I first reach out to you? Maybe just a couple of weeks ago, but now it seems like we're best friends. <laughs> <laughs> Give me phone calls, making sure that we check in with each other. <laughs> but yeah, we started about three weeks ago, and really it's just snowballed since then. The energy that's been uh, garnished from people seeing murals uh, pop up. Artists have reached out to us, and we're hoping to reach out to more business owners to keep expanding the portfolio. Uh, just kind of want to keep the energy going. Do you guys think this will continue past COVID-19? Oh, I hope so. I mean, it, it is a beautiful addition to the city. Sorry, Max, go ahead. I think so. We, we have plans to take these murals and replenish them throughout the city. I think it'd be great to uh, take this moment and be able to reflect on it later as a positive where people can say, hey, I remember this was at Dalton Hayes and uh, have like parts that we can put them in. Or uh, maybe there might be a museum show in the, in the future where we take some of the photographs that are captured in this time and 
have a retrospective of something that was something good that came out of all this. Yeah. Well, I want to add. Sorry, go ahead. Sorry. No, 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 I'm please. so excited about this project. I wanted to add to that. It is, it is a little bit hard to, I think, to grasp the scale of what this year, this moment in time means to us and our life and our future. And for years, the study of art and how it heals and brings joy and mental health, all these different avenues, the way that art provides. And so I think that beyond just the next couple of months or a year where maybe we can get an exhibition out or maybe a book or whatever, this is documenting not only art as it plays in a time that is extremely heavy for so many people, but it's, but it's honestly really kind of beautifully encapsulating what San Francisco is all about. This is the heart of our city. We were always artists and creatives and just a, a small city in retrospect to other city scale. So I just think that the last couple of years, we've had a lot of tech come in and a lot of startup businesses, and it's been incredible, and a lot of fresh energy and youth. Um, this has been a, a really incredible time where artists have had an opportunity to, to show up for the community like they always have and just remind the whole Bay Area what 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 lives here and who the locals and natives really are and and people who have, who've come from other cities and states how how it's art that really keeps us rooted in the community well art is very therapeutic not only for the artist who's you know creating the artwork is very cathartic but as you mentioned it's, it's also very cathartic and therapeutic for people that are seeing it because again it adds that color and that vibrancy that we haven't been seeing over the course of the last month or so yeah, and to kind of um, um, uh, piggyback on that statement, when I'm painting, usually people walk by and say thank you and so forth. Now people are walking by, standing six feet away, just saying thank you so much for what you're doing. I appreciate you. I appreciate you adding to our community. So it's really touching. It's really nice to see uh, people come out and show an appreciation. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's really heartfelt on a different level that I've never experienced before. Max, let me ask you a quick question. Eon75, uh, is that your artist name? That's my artist name, yeah. Tell me, where did uh, that come from? Um, every graffiti artist has a name that they're given. Mine says for extermination of normality, because I usually paint abstract work. But it was given to me by some uh, one of my crews in Europe. And he basically said, you paint really weird stuff in the extermination of normality. And <laughs> 75 is the year I was born. So uh, that's the short and abridged version of my history. <laughs> I love it. Now, uh, my executive producer and I we were talking about the, the artwork. Um, is it possible for people, let's say everything is said and done, if someone wants to come and buy one of the pieces of art, is, it, is, it, is that possible? And if so, would they have to go to the artist or would they go to the business on which the art is displayed? Right now, we are have agreements with all the businesses that the, onus, or the artists have the first um, right of refusal to all the art. Since it is a gift and it could potentially be worth a lot of money, we want to make sure that the artists have the choice to either donate it um, or give it to the business or do what they want with it. Um, I know some artists are already auctioning off some of their pieces. Um, and they're like Max said, it would be amazing to have a gallery show or show in a museum um, afterwards. So we're all sort of brainstorming. So many people have reached out and offered incredible ideas. Um, and we're not quite sure what we'll do with the work. But as of now, the artists own all of their own pieces. Um, and we're working in, in collaboration with the businesses just to make sure that they stay intact. And then if they wanted to, let's say, purchase uh, one of the pieces and they wanted to get in touch with one of the artists, how would they go about doing that? Is it on the on your website? Yeah, on paintthevoid.org, we have a list of artists. We also had an incredible woman reach out. She's mapping out everything so that once we get out of our shelter and home, people can take walks if they need to and see some of the artwork. Um, and we'll have a list of artists and their website and contact information there as well. All right, last question for you guys. Actually, no, not last question. I have a <laughs> second to last question. Um, if, the pu if the public wanted to, I guess, contribute somehow, whether it's monetarily or, or their time to paint the void, is there a way to do it? And if so, how? You can donate if you go to paintthevoid.org. There's donation via Facebook or Flipcause. Um, we're part in partnership with Art for Civil Discourse, so it is a nonprofit and can be um, tax deductible. And we're working with Intersection for the Arts with that. We're also looking for more businesses in need. We obviously be, love to be connected to more artists. Um, and I think from Max and Lisa's perspective, I'd love to hear from what you guys are saying, but I think just the positive energy and the thanks is going a really long way. Are we ready for the last question? <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, I just want to ask each of you individually what this project uh, means to you and why you feel it's so important to kind of give back to the community in this way. Um, for me personally, it's been a reconnection with the city that I love. Seeing all the artists come out, seeing all the artists happy producing. Like you said earlier, this is therapy for us artists as well, to be able to put our voice out there and be able to create something that um, takes away from the gloom that we're all kind of experiencing at this moment. So for me personally, it's just been a really therapeutic experience and also the community has reached out to us that, we are, that we're building and continuing to build too, which has been amazing. Okay, who'd like to go I, next? <laughs> I can second that. I think the strongest word there is just connection um, in a time where many people are alone and feeling alone and in fear. Um, this beautiful community and of, that came out, whether it be the artist, the businesses, the people donating, um, there's been a huge connection of so many people in my life um, that have come out and supported this, whether they're near or far. And it's just been really overwhelming just to see that connection and that community come through. And to Max's point, my, my business I started was around public artwork and it's been um, incredible to actually give back to the city that I live in um, and see everybody do what they can to contribute. It's hard to say something different because I, I would second and third all of those. I But to be honest, I think at the end of the day, this has just brought so much hope and reassurance that art is essential to and our community is here. There's a, there's a lot of connections happening with people all over the world because we're all virtual. But at the end of the day, like our community is showing up. And I think that that means more to me than anything. Really nice to see. Well, I love it all. Shannon, Lisa, Max, thank you guys. And thank you to all the artists uh, for what you're doing. Again, it's a it's a very weird time that we're living in. It's, it's lonely, it's upsetting, it's anxiety inducing, but the artwork that you guys are providing around the city is really helping uh, alleviate all of that. So thank you so much for what you're doing and thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you.